everybody, it's me. Got something to get off my chest. Um, maybe a little hard for you and me. The thing is, I'm leaving my channel forever. And one last thing to say is Happy April Fools! <laughs> April Fools was yesterday, SRP. Oh, what? Really? Damn! Stupid time it takes to make videos. I need to upload some sort of video. The last one I uploaded was two months ago. I've already lost five subscribers. Well, you could review this. Whoa! The Pirate Cove Discovery Set? How long did you get that? It's like $200. It was a 70% percent i sale at my, uh, it was for $65. Oh, well then. Um, okay, but I, I don't know if I'd be a good reviewer. I think you would be great at it. Are you sure? I mean, you know, this reviewing's kind of... Just do the goddamn thing for me. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to SRP's Thomas Reviews, where I basically review anything that's Thomas. Wooden Railway? I'll review it. Episodes of a TV show? Can't you can count on me. Board games, and food, and books, DVDs, and any, anything Thomas related. Now, today we'll take a look at the Pirate Cove Discovery Set. One of the most expensive sets I've gotten in quite a while, I have to say. Steep price, $200. Let's see if that $200 or $65 to me is really, truly worth it. Choice, because I'm a completion of that asshole, I'm going to send you to the quarry because I'm a bad guy. Ah, screw you too, fatty. Okay, Cubs, you're going to go there for two months. God damn it. Three months. Yes, and I'll get going. I heard that. Oh, hello, midgets. I haven't seen you for ages. Where have you been? Fanny kept us locked up for ages. But now we're out now. But be careful of that hill, Thomas. It's a big one. Plus it's also that really badly hidden pirate ship there too. Ah, screw you little midgets. I don't need everybody to tell me what I need to do. I'll go up whatever the hell I want. Brr, stupid midgets telling me what to do. Yeah, this is a pretty big hill though. Yeah. <sighs> Whew, made it to the top of the hill finally. Maybe we should cut back on the coal though. Well, I better be getting down the hill. Oh god, no. I've shot the dynamite. Oh, Fanny's going to smelt me down, sell me off to a third world country so I can be made into spoons. Well, what you know? Those little midgets were right about the poorly hidden pirate ship. And I thought they were just insane. <laughs> Wait, but where there's pirate ships, there's pirate treasure. Surely Fanny won't scrap me up he's got all that money under his big fat belt. Wee-hee! Oh, oh. oh, oh. I'm so hurt. Well, at least I found the treasure. Oh, you scallywag. You mean I found my treasure. Yeah. What pay was I for me? Come on, Chippy. Let's get out of this dump. Ah, crap. Oh, that was stupid engine. Shut the gun down, idiot. Hello everybody, I'm looking at the Pirate Cove Discovery Set for $200, which includes all you see here! Exclamation mark. And it's a, it's, it's a very nice box. It's, but it's mine, it's mine, you can't have it, it's mine! But we're not here to take a look at that piece of rubbish, we're here to take a look at this thing you'll probably never have because it's too expensive. And right off the bat, you can obviously tell that there's a lot of plastic in this set because Fisher Price has cut the corners. Now let's look at what trains we have. We have one stock standard Thomas, how original. Would be nice to get like some dirt speckling on it or something. But there is a little dink in the number one you can just see there. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Then we also have this very nice cargo car or wagon for the us British people. Yes, very nice indeed. 
We also have a uh, treasure chest cargo piece, which also came in a Key in the Railway set, which I have. And here is the man of the hour, the one and only Sailor John, who we know nothing about except he's evil when he wants treasure. And of course we have a museum sign pointing to where the museum is because we're stu stupid and figure out where it is. A very nice construction sign which has lots of potential. And the pirate ship, which I'm not a big fan of. <clears throat> plastic, but we'll cross that path when we get to it. Other plastic parts of the set is this drawbridge. It looks nice, but I don't like it. These signals, which also made an appearance in the Steaming Around Solar set from a few years back. This little snug place to put the uh, secret treasure chest cargo piece. This whole entire fake water ramp, plus the ship too, all plastic. This little water ramp, I suppose that is, you know, sort of texture. And all of this grey stuff up here. Now this set is based off the uh, movie special semi fan anniversary thingy, Serial Session of the Lost Treasure, which is basically just fan service. Reintroducing those old characters with no exclamation where the hell they've been for the past decade. Fan service is basically the only thing that's keeping Thomas afloat and stopping Thomas ending up in the garbage. I mean, seriously. Well, plus there's also the merchandise too, and all the monies the big fat sm cigar smoking fiddle can make. Oh, you wanted Batman Daisy, I hear you say. Well, screw that, you get Batman Rosie. Yes, because everybody wanted Batman Rosie. She's a staple character in the Thomas and Friends franchise, with her two episodes. You also get these two bridge thingies, uh, yeah, yeah. One side's Soda Museum, the other side is Arsdale Harbour, I believe. There's a very nice texture on there with the bricks mixed in with the planks. It's just uh, plastic, you know. It also fits onto this little drawbridge. As I said, it does look nice, but it's just plastic. It looks nice, but it just doesn't feel nice, I guess. I mean, there, there is a second one of, of this, basically the exact same thing. It says Soto Museum. See? Here it is. Um, also has Osberg Harbour on the back. A very nice detail, I have to say, on the sides. I mean, Fisher Price covered all out for this. It's just the plastic that, that. It's the plastic and the price that always drag things down. And of course, there's this. Uh, once again, I mean, it can go back very far. It's like a limbo, but. I just, I just don't like plastic, okay? I just don't like it. Then there's also this light blue cargo holder thingy. I hate it, plastic. I mean, there, there was a lot, a much better, more detailed one in James's fishy delivery, which I also have. Uh, so there's this thing we touched on. Absolutely horrible. Hate it. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the pirate ship launcher, which is made in plastic, but it's highly detailed. And you press down the dynamite, and the ship goes sailing out into the carpet. And as I said before, this is a very highly detailed piece. And then, of course, you press down the little handle, and this little level, I guess, goes up and down. And then, of course, we have this big, massive, mountainous, rocky area, where steroid Mac, seems to be working. Mm, yes. I don't think it's too long before it gets busted. Of course, we have all of our <coughs> bad service. Mm. Um, yeah, it's actually very high detail. It's not found the plastic, though, but sometimes it is necessary. We've got some Marsdale signs and stuff. Marion. A fat controller. Yeah. It's very sunny detail, but it seems like toes has been replaced by a I wore the truck. wonder when that's going to happen. Of course, we have the cave cavern area, which, again, as I said, it's very high detail. Fisher Price put a lot of detail into this, which is kind of sad because they don't do it for all of their other things. But I just say it isn't worth the price it's put up for. <laughs> Tassels. <laughs> of course, we have this little out sticking rock. I don't think the railway inspectors would be too happy about that. And when Thomas runs by, he reveals the secret treasure. Uh, the way the set works, you take Thomas 
up this big massive mountainous hill thingy and you press down the dynamite revealing the big ship and it almost comes down here revealing the treasure and yeah unfortunately everything in time to come down the hill he unfortunately falls into the ocean yes but but don't worry we always we always salvage him from the ocean it's it's not like we leave him down there just to you know rust away or anything so what are my thoughts on this set really out of five stars i'd give it about three because it is highly detailed, has a nice selection of characters, you get a decent amount of track, and, and it is very engaging, especially with all the, you know, things that go on. But it is ridiculously priced, and there's just too much plastic. It is a good set, though. It's just not worth the price. If you can get for at least hundred dollars or less and you know I, I strongly suggest you get it if not then i i'd I'd, i would skip on this one i mean you're not really missing out or anything except from the sailor john figure but then again you can always get that on ebay yes but then again he already has a treasure chest in his hand so no idea why you want to stick with treasure again makes no sense whatsoever but so yeah i'd give this three out of five stars i mean it's over two and a half stars, so it's in the more of the eh, it's up to your choice range. So, thank you for watching this pilot of my new SRP review series, and uh, stick around, I'm going to be reviewing an episode of season four next.